this entire series is about modulating color. Modulating, what do we mean? To modulate something is to gradually change it from one thing to another. And in painting, modulating includes volume, intensity, hue, and temperature, those main things. It gives us chances to enrich the color. It gives us opportunities to lead the eye through the painting. Uh, it gives a rich variety to the painting. And um, it also gives us an opportunity to make uh, things look a little bit more exciting. So, what gets modulated? Here we are. In this illustration, let's take a look at that. When value is modulated, um, it simply goes from dark to light or light to dark gradually as you see on the illustration at the top of the screen. Now I have the Daniel Smith Sap Green gradated in the value line here with Pantiel Light to this middle value point right here gradating it with the yellow that's in it in the color I'm talking about and then I picked it up here and gradated this middle value towards the lighter lights with the Gamlin Titanium White. You'll be happier with the study if you get the composition, uh, the initial composition or structure set, um, set so that it's balanced, well balanced, and so that it has some semblance of order to it. That's the reason I like doing the no tens. We know that shadows get cooler. So I'm going to come into the blue. So I'm, I'm changing the hue and the intensity. And just kind of move it into that. And we feel that already feeling more natural as a cast shell. We're modulating. And today, in this lesson, we're modulating greens. I showed you uh, how to think about modulating color. To consider not just it as color but as the parts of color. You're modulating the hues, you're modulating the intensities, you're modulating the values. Most of the time you're modulating hues and intensities within a local value area, which is so important.